morning. It is so great to see so many of you back in person. Here engaged on the campus, going to classes, uh, of course participating in different activities. It, it really is invigorating. I also know that a number of you are reaching out and saying, hey, I think I want to come back at this point. You are welcome to. Please contact us and we'll work on a schedule to help you uh, get in with a cohort so that you can attend campus. I really believe that for many of us, being here in person is invigorating. I think it's reaffirming of who we are. Now, we know a number of you need to be out at this point and totally fine. Keep accessing your, uh, your education remotely. Contact your teachers during their uh, office hours. But also, finally, Remember, we're really moving toward the end of the semester. Uh, it's going to come up upon us very quickly. Make sure all work is complete, done, and ready to go. For all of us, let's work hard. Let's be kind to one another. Have a great day. And now I'd like to turn it over to our assistant principal, Mr. Boysen. Hey Cougars, how are you? I hope everything's going well. You're having a great day. Happy Monday. Okay, a few things I want to go over when it comes to uh, arriving onto campus, okay? So we have the campus map here. Um, remember, it's very important that all students check in. So if you happen to be late and there are no longer any symptom checkers at these two locations or that third location, you must go to the office and be checked in, okay? You cannot enter a classroom unless we do the symptom checker and you're been clear okay also it's important that your parent fill out the hazel health application okay so when you show up they're gonna send you a screenshot and it's really really speeds things up so for example if my daughter was showing up she shows this the symptom checker you get the temperature taken and you're on your way okay this really speeds up the process otherwise we have to verbally ask you questions about your fever contact with people with COVID symptoms kind of slows things up. We want to keep things Now, quick. Mr. Boyce, I get to interrupt totally off topic, sure. but I saw you hold up your daughter's name, so let's give her a shout out, because I understand last week in one of the uh, soccer matches, she made a tremendous save. Yeah, well, she so did. way to go, Maya, <laughs> and keep those symptom uh, checkers coming. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Olson. Yes, I was very happy to see that. So uh, I think that's it on the screening part. Best drop off, figure it out strategically. Where are you supposed to be first, okay? If you're a G building, have your parent or guardian drop you there or walk to that location then you're hitting the G building okay but if your class is say in the quad area here that way you enter you can go to D you can go to C you can work this side of A if you, have, you know you're in the K building then kind of head this direction so be strategic have some forward thinking for that first class of the day I'll save you a walk and I know just walking around it's frustrating you take the long route when something's very close and you could go quickly, but you know what? There's pass-throughs here. If you need to pass through C, if you need to pass through D to get to K or head over toward other directions, go ahead and do that, okay? So this is a nice back and forth section there to the quad or away from the quad, okay? And I think that's it. Oh, please don't have your parent or guardian drop you off in the staff parking area here, okay? Because there's no symptom checker. I know there's an open access point here, but we need you to be checked, okay? Please focus on your classes, right? We're in the stretch run here, fourth quarter's wrapping up. Boost up your achievement, do the best you can. And for those of you that have been struggling, I know it's a difficult year. If you're within striking distance and you know this is about passing or not passing, reach out to your teachers. Try to formulate a plan. Reach out to your counselors for other supports. Reach out to us. We really, I know it's been difficult, but we really want everybody to kind of walk away from this very difficult year in the best shape possible for this fall, which will be here before you know it, okay? And I think that's all I have to say. Oh, community service. Reach out to your uh, social studies teachers, seniors, most importantly and your counselors figure out a plan how many hours is it mr olson 35 hours and we have a lot of students that are somewhat short of those 35 hours a lot of seniors yeah that's rough we had some people finish up in the summer of the community service we don't want that to happen i know it's pandemic uh restrictions are there it's made it difficult but there are opportunities if you seek them out especially since things are opening up so seniors take care of business don't let that get in your way
All right, Cougars, have a great week. Great to see you. Take care. Oh, hey, Kehlani, what are you reading? Oh, hi, I'm just reading The Muse. Well, what is it about? A published literary journal done by this year's Creative Writing Club. That sounds cool, where can I get it? You can get this book by filling out a Google form that will place your order before Wednesday, April 28th. I'd well, love to get a copy of it. How much does it cost? It is $10 per book. And once you do place your order, you can pick it up from the front office. That sounds so cool, Kehlani. Cougars, if you want a copy, make sure to place your order by Wednesday.